Welcome to PregnancyChat.com and week 33 and the eighth month of your pregnancy. I'm Monica Healy. Let's start by chatting about what is happening with baby this week. Your baby has surpassed four pounds, approximately two kilograms, and is making his way to 17 inches or about 43 centimeters in length. But he still has a ways to go before he's born. In fact, he may grow an entire inch this week. He is keeping his eyes open during his wake time and continues to practice sucking and swallowing as he synchronizes those skills with his breathing. Babies in the uterus now make many facial expressions. During an ultrasound, we can see babies smiling and, and frowning. As you get closer to delivery, your baby will start to make more of these gestures of, of a full time term infant as you can see in these 3d 40 images of a 33 week fetus a wide yawn and sticking out the tongue are common fetal behaviors your baby's head will increase in size by about a half an inch this week due to rapid brain growth so be persistent with vitamins containing DHA and foods packed with other omega-3s baby is accumulating more fat to help regulate body temperature but being able to regulate his own body temperature won't be well established until well after birth. In addition to other developments, your baby is starting to store the minerals, iron, calcium, and phosphorus, which are very important for baby's bone development. Although the bone development of baby's skeletal system is preparing for the big day, the bones of the skull remain a bit fragmented. This allows the bones of the skull to overlap as baby is being pushed through the narrow opening of the cervix during delivery. Because of this, many babies are born with a cone-shaped head, but not to worry, baby's head will round out before you know it. Okay, let's talk about what's happening with you this week. Feeling like you're carrying around a space heater inside of, uh, inside of baby these days, your metabolic rate is through the roof possibly the highest it's ever been, causing you to feel more and more overheated. Drink plenty of water to remain cool and hydrated, especially during the summer months. Not only are you perspiring, but shortness of breath and sleepless nights, your old friends are becoming even more intense as your baby continues to grow and your belly swells. Did you know that 33% of pregnant women experience pregnancy insomnia? If you're having extreme difficulty finding peaceful rest due to a racing mind and or to physical discomfort, then make an effort to take an easy nap and get as much sleep as possible throughout the day. Light to moderate exercise such as walking can also be an incredible help. Well, actually it's more like waddling. Waddling is among the newer symptoms you may be experiencing these days. Your ever expanding abdomen has finally inhibited your typical gait, so you waddle. That large belly may also have you bumping into furniture, objects, and even people. It becomes difficult to gauge exactly how far it protrudes, which can account for the clumsiness in your last few months. You may also become really uncomfortable due to your baby's movements. Baby can become quite energetic and it may feel like her feet are caught under your rib cage as she twists and turns. These movements are a sign your baby is in good health. So if you notice a reduction in movement, this should be reported directly to your health care provider. When you're not waddling or being kicked uncomfortably by baby, try sitting in a comfortable chair and elevate your feet on a stool. This can help with the discomforts of late pregnancy. Gradually tense and then relax all parts of your body starting with your head and then working down towards your toes. When you become completely relaxed, breathe gently and feel yourself relax into the chair as you exhale. Here are some tips for this week. Car seat. If you have not done so already, purchase an infant car seat. Install it as soon as possible in the vehicle that you'll be using to transport baby home from the hospital because you'll want to make sure it fits into your specific vehicle because not all seats are made the same. The seat must be suitable for your child's weight and you'll also want to look for the symbol that indicates that the seat meets current safety standards. It may seem that you have plenty of time to do this, but you never know when baby might decide to make an early appearance. 
Order the pram or stroller. This is another item you do not want to be without. Think about your lifestyle and where you live when you're choosing one. You'll want one that has good maneuverability and suspension. If you use your car a lot, you'll need one that folds easily into the trunk. If you use public transport, you will need one that is lightweight, folds easily, and can be carried onto a bus or train with one hand. Baby products are another item. When stocking up on baby products, make sure you use products that are specially made for babies. Products made for adults are too harsh for baby's delicate skin. Also ensure the products do not contain any toxic ingredients. Look into our safe products video for more information. Wash any baby clothes and bedding that you've accumulated. It's great to have it ready for baby's arrival home. So that's it for week 33. If you have any questions or comments, please join in the conversation in the forums at PregnancyChat.com. I can't wait to tell you what is happening during week 34. Until then, enjoy this pregnancy journey. These are the precious moments our lives are made of. I'm Monica Healy and thanks for watching.